stay hot, kids. NC State winning its eighth game in a row. Michael O'Connell for three. This game was really never close as NC State advances to the Elite Eight for the first time since 1986. 67-58 over Marquette. DJ Horn, their leading scorer, 19 points, five rebounds. DJ Burns not on this full screen, TV jargon, because he didn't score a lot of points. 4.7 assists. He was in a little bit of foul trouble and uh, looked like he was limping a little bit end of game. And it is end of season for Marquette because they were putrid from beyond the arc. Four of 31. Cam Jones leading the way with 20. Tyler Kolick with three straight double doubles since returning from an oblique injury. 17 points, 10 rebounds. But they could just never get it going from beyond the arc. And it is the NC State Wolfpack advancing to the Elite Eight. Back here with CBS Sports basketball analyst Tim Boyle. Uh, Tim Doyle, I'm, I'm talking about Boyle because, uh, well, guess what? NC State's boiling its competition. I mean, this game was never close, Tim. Tim Boyle's the quarterback. <laughs> I think he's on the center of some <laughs> Laugh. Let's try that again. Welcome to CBS Sports College basketball analyst Tim Doyle. Tim, how did NC State win this game? Appreciate it, Akeem. <laughs> um, this game really was never close. But how did they win this game? Marquette couldn't make a shot. You know, we talk so much coming into this tournament of live by the three, die by the three. Well, you know what Marquette did tonight? They died by the three. No doubt about it. I mean, they absolutely just buried themselves. They could not make a shot in this game. NC State didn't shoot 50% from the field. NC State shot pretty good from three. I mean, nine of 23. But Marquette, I mean, you could almost kick the ball in 31 times, and you may make five of them. Four of 31 from three. And I would say a majority of them were pretty good looks. Check this out. Marquette history, tournament games. Um... Raise your hand if you know in 2024 they shot from three-point percentage. Akeem? 13%. Not very good. Nope. So, you know, they didn't play poorly. Grant Hill said that on the broadcast. They just shot poorly. And, you know, what uh, NC State is doing right now is whatever it takes. You know, you need them to make big shots, O'Connell makes the three. You need them to dominate on the boards, DR dominates on the boards. You need good bench play, Middlebrooks comes in. You need scoring down low, that's Burns. You need someone to take a one-on-one -on -one play and make a shot, that's been Horn. So it's been a complete team effort, and they've come together at the right time, and they're playing their best basketball. So um, I know they're not the sexy pick, and trust me, I wonder how many brackets have NC State winning it all. Probably not too many. Uh, they were 1,000-1 to one to win the tournament 18 days ago. So I would, I would have to say there's probably nobody with a ticket. I bet you there's somebody with a ticket. Maybe somebody. Yeah. I, I don't know that person. I I'd bet like you to know that person. I would say there's less than 20 people in the world that have NC State winning it. Sounds about right. Um, and so the, you know, the beat goes on. Right now, uh, I'm not picking against them going forward. Did you hear what I said? You're not picking against them going forward. No. Whether it's Houston or Duke. Doesn't matter. Okay. Like, that's just, they're in such a rhythm right now. Like, you, you, you just don't stand in front of this train. I'm not saying yeah. that they're better than either one of those teams, but just seems like it's just like they're in, like, you know, NHL playoffs. The, the hockey players talk about being in a zombie mode. Yep. Like, whoever's just in front of you, they just wipe out. Uh, this game was not close tonight. You and I know thing about desperation. We have had to make ourselves, right? Nobody just gave us a handout. Nobody just handed NC State an invitation. They had to go out and earn it. So playing with desperation, it's like, what, what does a hungry dog do? It doesn't lie around. It goes looking for food. What does a hungry wolf pack do? It is going after its opponents. That desperation has to be a key to what Kevin Keats is saying to these kids because every game is an elimination game. They've been playing since the, since the tournament started, the ACC tournament started. You know, the only other comparison you can make is like Jim Valvano's NC State team. 1983. And when you go through those adversities as a team or your backs are up against the wall, no one believes in you. I mean, how many times have you heard athletes say, no one believed in no us, us against the world? Like Sometimes it's overused. Sometimes, like, like sometimes yeah. I would say 99% right, of the time it's overused. It's, 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 yeah, because you'll, you'll hear you'll have like a team that's favored to win that nobody believed in us. What do you mean nobody believed but in you? But li literally, no one believed in NC State. Nobody did. And then they all came together, and there's been so many kind of signature moments. You know, just thinking back, O'Connell's three tonight was kind of the nail in the coffin, but he also made that three against Virginia when he banked it in yep. the ACC tournament. But what I love about NC State is you can go up and down. They only played seven guys tonight. Everyone contributed, but you can go throughout this run. 
where each one of the seven guys tonight played a enormous role, yeah. whether it's knocking off Virginia, knocking off North Carolina, winning games in the tournament, shutting down goal key. Uh, but they're doing it with their defense. Texas Tech shot 39%. Tonight, Marquette couldn't make a shot. Golkey took 17 threes. You know, he only made six of them. He didn't go 10 of 17. Like, they did a good enough job to get by that. So, uh, they're just figuring out a way. That's it. A new philosophy. You don't stand in front of NC State. And honestly, I've picked him every time going forward. Real quickly, DJ Burns Jr. looked a little bit banged up at the end of that Why game. Why do you he want me to play around. a doctor on TV? I don't want you to play a doctor on TV, but does that concern you? Anybody who's that big and gets banged up, yeah, of course you're a little concerned. You know what else I like? That he's like 22 years old. You and I, yeah, we like yeah, uh, we yeah, gotta take true. three Advil, and get out of bed. But you know, when, my, you're, when you're that young, you break, you break back in. All right, well, good. Hopefully, we'll see him in prime position. By the way, my name in Arabic means doctor, so uh, wow. I could tell you, I could tell you right now really that I'd be a little bit concerned. You fell short. But in NC life. State, <laughs> NC State, eight in a row to get to the Elite Eight. NC State, stay hot, kids. We'll head to Dallas. The home of Luka Doncic next on CBS Sports HQ. NC State 8-0 since the start of the ACC tournament. Consider they were 4-10 in their final 14 regular season games. This game never close against Marquette. Michael O'Connell hitting a three. You remember he hit a big shot at the end of regulation against Virginia to send them to overtime in the ACC tournament semis. <laughs> they wouldn't even be here if he didn't hit that shot. They rallied an OT and well now they have rallied all the way to the Elite Eight. The boys from Raleigh rallied to the Elite Eight 67-58. DJ Horn on the ones and twos. The other DJ was a little banged up at the end of the game. Seven assists but DJ Horn lead the way for the Wolfpack. 19 points as they advance to the Elite Eight for the first time since 1986. Let's get right to the site. Welcome to CBS Sports College basketball writer Kyle Boone who joins us from Dallas. Kyle, you had his courtside seat. We saw you on the broadcast. You look great. Uh, what did you think of the way NC State played in this game against Marquette, considering Marquette couldn't buy a three-pointer? Yeah, I'm really impressed with the way that NC State played in this one. And they really jumped out early in this game and, and put Marquette on the ropes early. Uh, Marquette really struggled on offense, uh, finished this game just four of 31 shooting from three point range. That felt like the difference. And Kevin Keats after the game said, you know, I thought we were better defensively and, and I would probably push back a little bit. It felt like Marquette was just a little bit worse offensively, but uh, that's how it goes sometimes in the NCAA tournament. NC State going on to the Elite Eight for the first time uh, since 1986. They've now won eight consecutive games. Uh, as a number 11 seed, this is one of the biggest NCAA tournament stories of the year, and they've been a fabulous team um, in March this year. Tell me why you would not count them out against either Houston or Duke. Uh, at this point, I, you can't count out NC State. Uh, it feels a little bit like fate. You know, they lost seven of their last nine regular season games. This team was definitely not going to make the NCAA tournament. They went five games in five days in the ACC tournament. Uh, they've now won eight straight games that were effectively elimination games. The lose in their season is over. Um, with their backs against the wall, this this NC State team, they've, they've got experience. They share the ball. Um, we talked to Kevin Keats yesterday, and he talked about the culture, and, and they've got some mantras that they live by, and um, they seem to persevere even when things are tough, and, and they've been counted out at every single turn. This is a team that um, struggled mightily down the stretch of the regular season um, and for whatever reason they have seemed to figure this thing out so um, they're going to be an underdog in the in the next round I think no, no question about that whether that's Duke or Houston uh, but the way that NC State is playing right now uh, you can't count this team out sometimes desperation breeds success you consider Kevin Keats was on the hot seat they win the ACC yeah. tournament that triggers an extension in his contract he is still the head coach of the NC State Wolfpack and they still are alive and well in the tournament as they advance to the Elite Eight. Kyle Boone, break it down for us here on CBS Sports HQ. Kyle, thank you. I mean, this is incredible. They win five games in five days to win the ACC tournament, and every game is an elimination game, and all they've been doing is eliminating teams here in the NCAA tournament.
Texas Tech, see you later. Oakland, nice Cinderella story, get out of my face. Marquette, your Big East power, nah, we got you. DJ Horn, DJ Burns, and the Wolfpack, the tournament darlings, dancing on to the Elite Eight. Coming up, joining NC State in the Elite Eight, Purdue. The Prove It region in the Midwest. They prove it against Gonzaga. We'll break it down next on CBS Sports HQ.